This video will show you how to set up your booth on the vFairs platform. You will receive a link that will take you to a page that looks like this. At the top left, you will find your company name. And when you're ready, simply just click on get started. So here at step one is just basic information. This is an example of what a booth could look like. And here you'll, you'll enter your booth name, your company logo, and your booth description. Once you have that in, simply click on save and continue at the bottom right, which then will move you to the booth design tab, which here you'll get to decide between two options, which booth design you want to use. Um, your booth design options are, will be based on your sponsorship level. So different sponsorship levels will have different options. When you've decided on a booth layout, you simply click on use this layout here, which will take you to each banner. Now what's super convenient, if right here it says show dimensions, if this is not checked, I would check this so that each tile will show you exactly which dimensions of photos will fit perfectly here. To simply put in a photo, you gotta click on the banner, which then you simply click on upload banner image uh, and hit continue and it should go in there. If you have problems with dimensions, uh, I recommend using websites such as Canva, where you can actually use customized dimensions to type in which dimensions you need, which is again right here. And you can simply just put whatever picture you want and edit it to fit those dimensions. Once you have all the photos, uploaded that you're looking for. You can also change the back panel and front panel colors. But once you have that updated, you simply click on save and continue to move on to step three. Step three is your content links. Uh, depending on sponsorship levels, you'll have different numbers of content links available to you. But essentially what a content link is, is you can essentially put any page that you have a URL that you want to show your the attendees, the students uh, in this content links. They're kind of like your booth tabs. Um, in this example, they have things like about us, the YouTube link, uh, news and events, chat timings, uh, career options, social media, things like that. And that is exactly what you'll find there. So all you have to do is if you have any pages you want to link in there, simply put in the URL link here and then just put a link title, which is what shows up in the tab. And once you're done with that, you can click on save and continue. And again, the number of links is dependent on your sponsorship level. So when you hit same continue to move on to step four. So step four is where you enter in your documents and videos. Uh, what that looks like is attendees will have the opportunity to view whatever documents you want to show them, whatever videos you want to show them. Now, the number of documents and videos you can upload will again be dictated by your sponsorship level. But if you have them, this is where you can drop files here for documents and drop your video URLs here. Notice that for videos, it must be a URL. It cannot be a document or it cannot be a file. Uh, so make sure you upload in a YouTube, URL or Vimeo URL, etc. But once you have those in, simply click on save and continue to move on to the next step which is the job vacancy. So this is where you upload uh, your job opportunities. And again, the number of job vacancies you can upload to your booth is dependent on your sponsorship level. So please reference your sponsorship summaries as to how many for each that you can upload. But once you have added all your vacancies, which if you click on add vacancy, you'll see how to do that. You just put in job title, location, description, number of vacancies per this job, as well as these two options as to how you want someone to apply for it. I would recommend this option, if you're if your company already has a job uh, listings site, which will, this will just take them straight, uh, take the user straight to that website. Once you're done with that, you click on save and then you hit on continue at the bottom to move on, which then will bring you to booth rep accounts. So this is essentially your booth users, or in other words, the people you have representing your company from the booth standpoint. To simply add them, click on add user, which then you put in a first name, last name, email, password, and this is optional as it says here, start time, end time. Email and password is important as that is how these users will be able to log into the boost on the day of the event. And as well as, you, I would follow their recommendations here where you can actually put the position before the first name, which is super helpful for attendees and students to be able to decipher who they're talking to. But once you've done that, simply click on save um, in order to save the users. And again, the number of booth rep accounts or booth users is dependent on your sponsorship levels. So once you're done with that, simply click on continue, which then will take you to the review slash finalize page. And this is just a review of everything you've put in. Obviously, I haven't put in anything, so there's nothing really showing up. But when you've put in those things in the, in the previous steps, this will have a review of all those steps. And when you're done with that, simply click on submit booth which will then take you to this confirmation email. And once you see this confirmation email, your booth should be good to go.